What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a pretty cool video for you and that is how to mass delete your Discord PM messages or delete all of your messages out of a Discord chat. So, as you may or may not know, when you're using Discord, there is no way to mass delete messages. The fastest way that seems to be the most popular is using the up arrow key, followed by Control A and delete, enter, enter, and it gets rid of one message. Now, of course, if you have tens of thousands of messages spanning over possibly years, this is going to take a hell of a long time. You can also shift right click, delete, holding the shift stops you getting this pop up over here, but that's also still incredibly slow. And the fastest way of doing this currently is using an auto hotkey script. However, there is a much, much faster way that isn't that well known and probably not that well trusted, but it's open source and I'm going to show you it today. So of course, before I continue, a couple of things. Obviously, you can't delete someone else's messages. However, you can delete your own messages in both PMs and in any channel in any server, and you'll be going through one channel at a time. A Discord PM conversation is also technically a channel, so you can only go through one at a time. And also, I'd recommend not overusing this tool if you have possibly 10,000 messages to delete. Try and stick to below maybe 2,000 at a time, give it half an hour, because user account automation on any website, including Discord, can get you punished. However, here I'm pretty sure they're very lenient with this, and I'm pretty sure they already know about this. A couple of days ago, I went and deleted about 5,000 messages over multiple DMs and chats, so it's more than relatively safe, and if you have a couple of hundred messages to delete, then go for it. So if you head across to the first link in the description down below, you'll land up on github.com slash victor nbp slash delete discord messages. As you can see, there's 349 stars, meaning people are following this, and it's quite widely used. Obviously, not everyone who uses this leaves a star, so there's probably 20 to 50 times as many people actually using the script, though I don't think there's any way to check, as that's all private information for the developer. Once you're here, we need to click in one of two places either here where it says delete discord messages.js or down here where it says select and copy this script delete discord messages.js so you can either click on it or right click open in a new tab and head across to it once you're on this page click anywhere where the text is control a and control c to copy it now of course if you know any kind of javascript code then you can go through and read through it to see exactly how it works and of course, if you're worried about your account, you can do the same thing. Once you've copied everything, we need to open up the Discord chat website inside of your Google Chrome or Firefox. This won't work with the actual Discord application here, as pulling up the console and pasting it in here won't let it work properly. Either way, heading across to discordapp.com, I'll hit open in the top right. Otherwise, if it says login, go ahead and log in. Once we get to this page, you can head across to whatever channel you want to delete your messenger history from. So I'll head into this DM with my other account and I'll hit Control Shift I. Now, if that Control Shift I didn't work and you don't see this pop up on the right hand side, in the bottom left where it says your username, head across to User Settings, then Appearance, and then we're going to make sure that Developer Mode is checked. Once this is on, refresh the page and hit Control Shift I once again. F12 also works. Once you see this page over here, great. Otherwise, if you see a different page that looks like this, this or anything else, what you need to do is at the very top, head across to the console tab and then click next to this blue arrow at the very bottom. Just to make it easier to see, I've gone ahead and cleared the console and I'll be pasting it in here. So once you've hit control V to paste it, we'll hit enter and you'll see a new window pop up like this. At this point, you can go ahead and close the console if you'd like. Otherwise, you can leave it open. It's not too important. Looking at this pop-up window, this is where everything is going to be done. So there's a couple of things we need to click first. We'll click get next to authorization, author, me, and guild slash channel, get. Every time you change a channel to a different place, such as a different PM or a different server channel, you'll need to hit get over here. If you're not going to delete anyone else's messages, you can leave the author as me. However, if you're planning on deleting someone else's messages in a channel that you have permissions, simply right click on their username and go copy ID. If you don't see that option, head across to user settings, appearance, and make sure developer mode is on. Either way, once you've got the correct channel slash guild selected and you've got the correct author name selected, all you need to do from here is hit start. It'll go through and it'll grab all of the messages from your chat and it'll go ahead and delete them one by one, iterating through every single one until every message is gone as such. 
Now, of course, I only sent 16 to myself. I could have, of course, sent 10,000 and it would have run through 10,000 or however many. If you get a pop up at the top saying, are you sure you want to delete 1000 messages or whatever, you'll have to click OK for it to start. It's there just to let you know that you might not be in the correct channel and you're about to undo a lot of history. Either way, there's a couple of other cool things that we can do. But before I get there, I'm going to go ahead and spam myself to fill this chat box up once again. Now that I've successfully filled up my chat history, there's a bunch of messages over here that I'll be going through and deleting. So, of course, if you want to only delete before a certain message or after a certain message, we'll be using the range function over here. So what you'll do is with developer mode on, we'll find the message in question and we'll head across to the three dots on the right, more. Then we'll go copy ID. We'll head back to the pop-up and we'll place that in after or before. If you place it in after, it'll delete the messages below that point. And if you place it in before, it'll delete them before that point. Now, of course, if you say after and before, it'll delete them between. So if I were to go ahead and hit start, it'll delete five messages after that one up there as such. Leaving the rest of my chat intact. So what I'll do from here is I'll use the range function to delete everything between this message over here and say maybe this message over here. So I'll copy the ID of the last one and I'll place it in the before section. Then I'll go ahead and copy the ID of my first one and place it in the after section, which is the top one. Then I'll go ahead and hit start. OK. And you'll see it deletes everything between this message here and that one over there. So with those super simple basics out of the way, there's a couple of other cool things that you can do, such as filter text, meaning that it'll only delete text containing a certain word or phrase. So if you happen to swear a lot on a server or something like that, and you want to get rid of it, you can go ahead and type in one word or phrase in here at a time and delete everything in its history. Sometimes you'll need to check the include NSFW tag. However, as far as I know, you don't really need to click this. It seems to work in not safe for work channels anyway. And of course, you can separate them as has link or has file. So if you want to delete only your file messages, you can take this and only link messages. You can take this as well. Leaving it like this, I'll make sure has link is checked and I'll clear the range. Then I'll hit start. As you can see, it only deletes one message, which is the one over there that has a link. Now, of course, if I send a file, you can see that the same is true if I tick file and uncheck has link start. And you can see it wants to delete two messages, which is this one over here and this one over here. However, if I cancel it and check both has link and has file, you can see that it pops up with both of these messages once again. So these aren't exclusive. They're just saying include them with a link and include them with a file. They're not separate. So if you have them combined like this message over here, where it's one message with one file and one link attached, then it'll go ahead and select that as well as the file ones and the link ones separately. Either way, I'll hit start. OK, and it'll delete both of those files and the one file has a link attached to it. Then, of course, if you want to go ahead and read the history while it's deleting messages, simply just make sure to uncheck auto scroll. And as it's deleting messages, it won't scroll. So I'll uncheck both of those has link and file start. OK, and as you can see, it's deleting the message history. However, I need to scroll down for it to move. If I check auto scroll again, scroll to the bottom, you can see it ticks down as we go. And of course, when you reach the top of a chat and it says load more messages, it'll still go because it's working off of the API. You don't need to constantly scroll up and click load more messages for it to work. Other than that, that's the super basics of the script. If I wanted to delete someone else's messages out of a chat, I'd need to change the author tag over here. So I'll right click on my alt and I'll go copy ID and I'll paste it in under author. If I hit start, you'll see it pops up with all of the messages I want to delete. However, you can see that I don't have access to delete them. So I'll simply get this error message over here saying cannot execute action on a DM channel, meaning you can't delete someone else's messages in a DM. However, if you're in a normal server and you have permissions, then you're probably able to do this. That's about it. It's a super useful little script in case you want to go ahead and delete your history. Of course, if you'd like to save your history before deleting it, you can go ahead and check the description down below for another video I've done, which is saving entire Discord chats in case either party deletes any messages and you want to have a history saved. Anyway, hopefully this helps you. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.